Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. It's a lovely Sunday morning here in Manchester. Yesterday um, I did a repot of uh, the two clematis. I'll see if I can put that clip in here and show you what what these uh, clematis look like. They were completely pot bound. It was in a 40 centimetre tub. So I've got it in this 50 centimetre. So it was a bit of a struggle to do it, but I had to disentangle this from the existing trellis. And hopefully I haven't disturbed it too much. And it'll be happy in its new home. Some of the flowers that I sowed, not all of them have survived, unfortunately. Had some slug damage and you can see some of these have withered, which is a shame really, but I've replaced some plants that I could, you know, I've got some more um, Nicotiana here, but um, the Godetia's all disappeared and I think there's probably only one Antirrhinum there left, couple. And some didn't even germinate at all. But now this is Tithonia, Mexican sunflower. See if I put a picture up of the seed packet that I've got. And these are beautiful. These f were featured on, um, not this year's Gardener's World, I think last year, but they do feature quite a lot on gardening programs. Really pretty, tall flower. And this is my other uh, clematis so it usually it reaches up and it'll go across or it'll go across that way um, it's a bit more vigorous than that one but having said that this one seems to have caught up now um, I've got had this for a couple of years and that one a few years before that, it's got quite a trunk on it. There's my hollyhocks, and my lupins. I did a general tidy up, and these are the two hanging baskets. I did one on video the other day, so they're just resting here until they fill out a little bit more. And I'm supposed to be changing those brackets up there, they are rusted. You can see it's rusted that one. If I can find the, the right drill bit for it. And then this is my Philadelphia smock orange. I repotted that as well yesterday. I used the pot that the clematis was in because it was in a much smaller one and it was in with I think three other plants. It was in with this plant here. So I've taken that out and put that in there. It had a very small root on it. It's just a cutting that. And then the eucalyptus there. I had to chop that back. It was really big and hanging over. So you can see it's... I've chopped it here. I have to get my window panes painted as well this summer. A few jobs to do. There's my brood mantia. It was inside but it's covered in green flies so I've brought it out here and it's resting on top of my... Um, these are Sweet Williams. They're very pretty multicoloured, different coloured flowers there. So that's not been repotted, it just, it's just solid massive roots and flowers. I've left that as it is. And there's my brood back here. I've taken some bits out. Uh, it was completely matted with grass and planted up this planter with uh, the leftover petunia there, some of my old geraniums. I've got a begonia in there and a pansy from last year and I put the nicotiana that I grew in here and there's a little uh, I think that's an aquilegia from last year. There's one of my mar um, magnolias. And here's the figs. 
fig staying as it is. I've not repotted it, but I've just given it a feed of blood fish and bone. some little babies on it I think I did have oh there's one yeah it's got a couple there one there whether they stay on but it's still quite chilly at night there's my oranges lemon tree seems to have lost a few leaves from Scorch, but I think it's adjusting now. There's my bergamot. See the little buds forming there. My kumquat. There's my grapevine. And these are the <laughs> veggies. I bought some more um, aubergines because I've taken a couple of mine to the allotment but I wanted want to take a couple more but um, a different variety so Tesco's were selling aubergines so I've got some I'm going to take those today. That's my African basil. doesn't look much at the moment because it's not an outdoor winter uh, you know you can't overwinter this outdoors but it's starting to get its replacement leaves but i've got some um cuttings off it indoors so it's got this like a purple tinge to it there's my chives chives are coming into flower this chard oh yeah i got some from my garden centre yesterday I got these I do like kale so I'm going to take some kale for the allotment but not just yet and I got some of this lettuce little gem I think I'll put some in there my bay leaf a little bit of a weed needs to go on here but these are, these are all poached egg plants, this uh, mass of green here, apart from the dandelions in between. So when they come into flower it looks really nice. This is like a wild geranium, pink flowering type. And that's my outdoor hibiscus. Okay, I'll just show you my abutal on. This has been outside all winter. And it is a tropical type of plant. But you know, it seems to have survived the cold. And the reason I put it outside, it had a very nasty scale insect attack. See all the bark stripped off there. So I brought it outside and it survived. So there we go. Right, and I'm off to the allotment now. So here I am back at the polytunnel and just to see uh, what's happening with the seeds. And there's quite a few popped up. I've got the hyacinth bean, uh, two yard long beans, okra is popping through. And that's the burgundy okra. And these are the green Bangladeshi variety and more okra. So I've planted tons of okra and Bangladeshi cucumbers are popping up, Spanish melon, some sweet corn there, nothing else. I can't see anything else has come through. Uh, oh yeah, it's out the back there. The amaranth, the ducky. So that gets a little bit bigger. It can all go into the um, space here that we've been allocated. So this part's um, Shawana's. And she's got these bottle gourds and she's brought some tomatoes and her chilies. And I planted my 
hyacinths beans there and I've got my aubergines and I brought some more tomato plants from home and in these pots I've planted some butternut squash and courgette so I'm going to see if I can make a trellis from there to there today tie it in so that when the beans start to grow they've got something to grow up against and these are two money maker um, aubergines and that's a scotch bonnet and these are money maker and roma tomatoes i'm going to be putting those over there with the community plot this is where the they grow tomatoes and aubergines and um, chilies for the homeless and for you know the food banks. A lovely morning here at the allotment. I'm just going to walk down to the, the area that I've been given by Shawana. Paid my membership, so I'm now a member. This area here, I've planted, the things are popping up. I put, I dug over this area, just need to keep on top of the weeds. That's potatoes in there, and nothing in here at the moment. So I just need to give this area, I need to bring my hoe to get rid of these weeds. And this area here to try to make a path along there and I think Shawana is going to plant fruit bushes on this section so this is the part that I'll be doing this summer so not sure exactly what's going to go in here probably courgettes um, got some dwarf French beans maybe the butternut squash um, yeah, I think that's enough to be going on for the time being. Let's have a quick peek under here. Oh yeah, things are happening. I think that's the uh, turnip and perpetual spinach is coming through. I think that's the only thing at the moment. Don't think the callaloo has sprouted and the broccoli and the beetroot I think might start to come through soon. <laughs> 